What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. And today we are going over a martial art made by the legendary Bruce Lee, Jeet Kune Do or JKD. Yeah, remember how I said I was recording all these videos at like 9 o'clock at night because it was the only time I had a chance to record with my busy schedule? Yeah, I was very serious. I feel weird with the same hat in the video though. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna change hats. Hang on. Alright, much better, much better walking that uh, dead shot hat right here. The way of the intercepting fist, or Jeet Kune Do, is a hybrid philosophy of martial arts that is heavily influenced by the personal philosophy and experiences of Bruce Lee. Unlike more traditional martial arts, JKD is not fixed or patterned and instead relies on philosophies and guiding ideas. <clears throat> Guys, before you forget, drop a like because I'm a struggling college student right now. Jeet Kune Do practitioners believe in minimal effort and maximum effect. Bruce Lee believed that katas, forms, and martial arts tournaments and matches were simply organized despair. Quote, in order to fully express oneself, one must have no limitations. Lee founded Jeet Kune Do on July 9th, 1967, teaching it to several students over the years before passing away. Later, the Bruce Lee Foundation decided to change the name to Jun Fan Jeet Kune Do, nearly 25 years after his death. Jun Fan being Lee's Chinese given name. Guys, if you've been watching this series, by now you know that I am absolutely terrible at pronouncing words, especially in other in other languages but I mean kinda in English too let's be real I'm looking at you compass so don't hate too much in comments if I got that wrong or do that's that's fine too the principles that Lee incorporated into JKD were the principles he felt were universal combat truths that were self-evident and would lead to combat success if followed Lee typically fought in a side southpaw horse stance using his right hand for jabs and crosses and following them up with lots of fast side kicks instead of the common leg checks seen in Muay Thai. The footwork he used is legendary. This one player keeps kicking my ass. Is it the Legend 27? Yeah, the Legend 27. He was able to take inspiration from Muhammad Ali's footwork and transfer it to his nimble and agile skipping footwork that he shows. His form of footwork also takes cues from fencing as well. Gonna just self plug right now. If you wanna know more about fencing, I got a video for you. It's in one of the corners. Lee felt that the straight lead punch was the most integral part of Jeet Kune Do punching. Quoting, the leading straight punch is the backbone of all punching in Jeet Kune Do. This is not a power strike, but a strike formulated for speed, allowing you to quickly and effectively open up your target for further attacks like the sidekick I mentioned earlier. Now we all have heard the famous speech, be like water, but if you haven't, check this out. I said empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Lee emphasized that in every situation, whether it's fighting or everyday life, can be varied and rapidly changed. So being adaptable and adapting to what life throws at you is the best way to be successful in whatever you are aiming to be successful at, whether that be fighting or any other avenue in your life that you choose. Oh man, that's deep. Now, there are many, many notable practitioners, but I'm gonna cover just a couple. We have Jason David Frank, the Green Ranger. Smart time. Dragon Sword. Jim Kelly. <laughs> David Ramsey. <laughs> Paul 
Paul Walker. And of course, Bruce Lee himself. Surprise! Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee is one of my favorite martial artists. He's honestly one of the best martial artists to exist. He's not my favorite overall, but I can do a video about that later if you really want to know what my who my favorite martial artist is. But if you want to see more, definitely hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And consider sharing the video. It would be a great help for you guys to share it around a little bit. Show it to whoever you think will enjoy it and will gain something from it. I'm so close to 25,000 and I really wanna get there and I wanna get to the giveaway that I'm doing for it. So if you could help me do that, that would be awesome. But as always, thank you for doing all of those YouTube stuff because my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja. And I'm out.